guys, this is Amy with Sephora Pro, Sephora's professional makeup artistry team, and I'm here to show you what's in my bag for New York Fashion Week. As you are watching this right now, I am in the process of packing for New York Fashion Week, and I wanna show you all of the essentials that I need backstage for every single show, no matter what. So let's get started. The first thing of pretty much every show that we have done is fresh glowing skin. So I always wanna make sure that I prep my model skin. Um, if, my, if my model has skin that's really dry, especially if there's like little flakies on her skin, and that's okay, no worries. I use the Josie Marin Infinity Cream. Um, this is a gem. We also use this on their bodies too, and either mix it with foundation um, to get like a really nice, soft, even texture on their skin. So on their knees, on their elbows, if they have like a cut on their arm and they're displaying any kind of skin, then we use this. Uh, it gives a fresh glow and it looks wonderful. Also, if they want super glow, I take a little bit onto my hand and then I concentrate it on my finger and then press it in and tap it in to get like a really nice glow on the skin. It looks super fresh and natural. So that is an essential that I have in my kit. Another thing that I like to use on my model skin, no matter what skin type they have, I'll take the Ren Clean Skin Care Beauty Shot. Now it contains hyaluronic acid and all you need is a tiny little bit. Once that absorbs, then I go right into a moisturizer. You know, prepping your model skin is so important and vital for the entire look to look right. I mean, no matter what the skin type is, no matter what concerns the model has, you have to make sure that their skin is prepped and hydrated. One thing that's always in my kit, and I know it's in a lot of other pros kits, is the Belief, the True Cream Aqua Balm. It's amazing. It's made with something called Ladies Mantle, and it's a Korean herb ingredient that is super hydrating and gives a longevity and hydration in the skin. And what I love about it too is that it is calming and soothing. So even, you never know what your model's skin is gonna react to. So I wanna use products that are great, even for a sensitive skin type, to make sure that they're least likely to have any kind of reaction to the skincare. When it comes to complexion, um, sometimes I don't have enough room in my kit to include every single possible foundation that's out there. So I need something that's gonna be really versatile, something that I can use for fuller coverage or sheer coverage. I can sheer it down with a moisturizer uh, or I could just layer it on to really provide coverage. And um, one of my go-tos is the Makeup Forever um, Ultra HD Foundation Stick. Now I can easily go straight on the skin like this and then I'll use a beauty blender to blend it out or sometimes I go straight on with my beauty blender and then press it right into my model skin if I want a little bit more of like a sheer coverage um, or really just have specific spots that I need. But what I also like to do is since this can be a little bit bulky in a professional kit, I actually take a clear palette, create my own palette with all of the different colors, foundation colors. Um, so I have all different foundation colors and then a little bit of a um, pigment to either you know lighten up the color a little bit if I need it um, I can include a pigment to like deepen the color a little bit if I need to um, or create effects which is pretty awesome another thing that I always have in my kit is the Touche Clot from YSL this is a brightener so if we're working with models or we're working with a designer that wants something a little bit more glowing, brightening, super fresh face, which is a lot of what you see on the runway. I just take a little bit of this, just take a couple clicks, and then apply it right into the areas where I need a little bit more brightening. Now, it's not a concealer. Um, the Touche Clot is a brightener. So there's a difference. It doesn't provide a whole lot of coverage, but it does definitely make a difference in brightness and dimension on your skin. Another big thing, too, to make sure that our models are not wearing too much makeup is to use uh, color correctors. So if, 
if they have a little bit of redness or if they have a lot of redness or a red patch on their skin, I'll use the, um, the Sephora Collection Gel Serum Color Correctors. It's called the Bright Future Color Corrector. Um, it's the same consistency and formula as the Gel Serum Concealer, um, but there's all different colors that you can use to help color correct dark circles, redness, and the such. Quick and easy, that is the whole point, because honestly, sometimes you have, at the very last second of a show, you literally have like five minutes to do a complete full face on a model, and they are out the door, and you don't get to redo. So you want to make it quick, easy, and simple. Speaking of quick, easy, and simple, Burberry. Uh, these are, this is the contour stick, and this is the fresh glow glowing stick. Um, the contour sticks come in two different colors. This is the medium, number one, and then you have the dark, number two. Um, and th these work with every single skin tone from every single spectrum. So from the fairest of the fair to the deepest of the deep, these contour sticks work on everybody and they're like a contour stick balm. So they're not heavily pigmented. They're just pigmented enough to create a beautiful shadow for shape. And then I also like their fresh glow stick because it is really, it's a balm too, but you can see that really soft targeted glow. So you can get right on the cheeks, on the inner corner, above the cupid's bow. And it's also beautiful on every single skin tone. No joke. Essentials in my kit. So speaking of essentials, you know, one thing, you know, sometimes I don't know what I'm going to show up to at a show. So you have a certain look for a show that you prepare for, but sometimes there's last minute changes and you just go with the flow. That's what a professional artist does. So one thing that really makes me be able to be so much more versatile in that aspect is the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. So I never show up to a shoot, a show, anything that has to do with my job without this palette. And the reason why is because all of the, the different colors, these are more cream based, but you can create different foundation colors. You can adjust foundation colors. You can use them as eyeshadows. You can use them as eyeliners. You can make lipsticks, blushes, shimmers, anything that you can possibly need, you can use it with this palette. There's also another one that's more neutral tones. So if that's something that I need to go to, I won't have to mix these so much to get these tones. So it really cuts time. But this gives me everything that I need, even eyebrow colors. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. These are my essentials that I always have in my kit, no matter what look I'm showing up to. Now for me personally, what I like to use for Fashion Week, you know, I don't really have a whole lot of time. They're really long days. You're always on the go. And so one thing that I, never leave without my at home is the um, tattoo brow from Kat Von D. Now this is a brow pen. So I have naturally dark hair, but my eyebrows are blonde and they're like blonde peach fuzz. So I don't have a whole lot of definition. So I filled them in with like a powder or whatever. But even if I don't have that, at least I have this on the go. And what I can do is I can actually just draw hairs with it and it looks like natural hairs and I love it, so, and you can keep going, and I have it on right now, so um, I can't leave home without it. It actually stays on for a really long time. I love it. The other thing I can't live without is the Dior Lash Plumping Serum. Um, it's an, a mascara primer. Like, it looks like other mascara primers, but it's really not so much a primer as it is like a serum primer. So I never do my lashes without this, and I actually don't ever do models' lashes without this either. Uh, just like my eyebrows, my eyelashes are blonde and thin, and they're not very long. So this helps to condition my lashes, and I use it underneath my mascara. It helps the longevity of my mascara, and it also keeps my mascara from crumbling onto my cheeks throughout the day. What I also love about it is that it strengthens and conditions my, my lashes, my natural lashes, so eventually they're just healthier and they end up just looking and appearing healthier and stronger and just absolutely lovely. Wouldn't you agree? Okay. And then, of course, my mascara of choice, because it is the most versatile and is super easy to use, is the Outrageous Volume Mascara from Sephora Collection. So the Lash Plumbing Serum will give me some length and volume, and then I can add even more volume with the Outrageous Volume Mascara from Sephora Collection. So what I love about this is the brush. It's a rubberized brush and has a rounded tip. So I actually am able to load up my lashes like this really quick with a lot of mascara 
and then wiggle as I go up to blend it out. And I don't have to do two or three different coats with this, especially if I'm using the Lash Plumping Serum from Dior underneath it. I also use the Becca, what is it? The Low Light Highlight Perfecting Palette Pressed. It's a very long name, so I had to make sure that I got it correct. And this is something that I use. I'll use this as eyeshadows as well as contour and highlight. So I'll use it as a contour, highlight, but then I'll also use it as a contour on my eyes and highlight. Really quick and easy. Sometimes I even just use my finger and go in there and then do a little bit right on the inner corners and I'm good to go and I'm done and out the door. And then for my lips, I need to make sure that my lip color stays on all throughout the really long days, running around, drinking a lot of coffee. So I use the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, um, usually in Bow and Arrow or Lolita. So I have on Lolita right now and I love it. So it stays on all day long. I don't have to worry about retouching. So no matter if I go from one show to the other, I always make sure that, you know, my lips look good. I look professional and polished and I'm ready to show up and represent. Speaking of lips, if I want a little bit of hydration and really freshen it up, I use my Burberry lip gloss. This one's in Pale Nude and I just think it's wonderful because it's not too sticky and it just adds a little bit of hydration and just refreshen it throughout the day. But what I really like to use most of the time because I'm oily in my T-zone is I like to use my Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder. Um, I use this particular product because not only does it give me the coverage of a foundation that I need. It's easy, it's compact, and I can go from one show to another, just quick touch up, and I'm polished, and I'm ready to go. Okay, so that is everything that's in my bag for my professional kit, all the way to my personal bag. And I wanna know what's in your bag. So comment below, let us know, is it something that you saw here? Is it something that you didn't see here? Is it something that you would have liked to have seen here? Let us know. No, I want to hear from you. So don't forget to subscribe to our Sephora YouTube channel. Join in on our conversation on Beauty Talk on Sephora.com. And don't forget to check out our Sephora Snapchat called Sephora Snaps. Going live for New York Fashion Week. And also check out Sephora Instagram because you will see me and my fellow Sephora Pro brothers and sisters representing Sephora and New York Fashion Week. I'll see you next time.